Hey everyone, Krista here, and Night of a Million Lights by Give Kids the World is back for 2022 in a brand new location this year. Night of a Million Lights has always been one of my favorite Christmas events to support every year, so if you are thinking of heading out there, I'm going to go over all of the details to help you decide if this would be a good event for you and your family this holiday season. So let's get into it. Night of a Million Lights is an event hosted by Give Kids the World, which is a nonprofit that provides children with critical illnesses and their families a week long expense free family vacation. From November 11th to January 1st, Give Kids the World transforms Island H2O Water Park into a beautiful light show extravaganza. This event runs from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. or 11 p.m. depending on the night that you go. You are able to purchase your tickets online and the tickets this year start at $30 for adults and $15 for kids. They do have complimentary parking that's available on site at Island H2O and is just a short walk from the event. We visited on opening night and arrived just as the event was opening for the evening. This year, Night of a Million Lights features a ton of new activities and entertainment to experience with your family. When you first walk in, you'll be greeted by this beautiful oversized Christmas tree that's wonderfully decorated and in just the beginning of the fun and during this event. The entire event is basically a large circle that takes you all around Island H2O. And we made our way around counterclockwise where we began by encountering this beautiful light display on palm trees, along with a few ornaments that were enjoying the lazy river, which I thought was a really cute touch. Also in this area, keep your eyes peeled because you may encounter a little bit of snowfall which I always love to come across in any Christmas event in Florida because whenever I can enjoy snow without cold weather, I'm a pretty happy camper. If you have attended Night of a Million Lights in previous years and are looking for the dancing light show, you can find them this year on the large dual slide Queen Anne's Revenge and Rogue Wave that's located in the very back corner of the park. And even though it's not as many dancing lights as previous years, it's still a pretty fun display to watch. And I love the curtain of lights that were added. There are three different shows in total and one happens every seven minutes. Also in this area back here is the Winter Wonderland Kids area, where you and the kids can take part in a bunch of activities that include coloring, temporary tattoos, writing letters to Santa, crafts, as well as a chance to take photos with some of your favorite characters like Frosty the Snowman and Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. And if you visit in the very first five nights of the event, You'll even get a chance to visit an extra special guest to Night of a Million Lights, Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus, which is located not in the North Pole, but actually in the South Pole this year. There was a bit of a line during opening night to meet Santa and Mrs. Claus, but they were still really fun to meet. Appreciate you guys coming out to Night of a Million Lights here. Tell all your friends to come on out to the H2O Water Park. This benefits give kids, kids the World Village in Kissimmee. We appreciate your attendance. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It was nice to see you. Once you finish your visit with Santa, you'll come across one of my favorite displays that's featured in Night of a Million Lights, Stellar's Tree Trail. These beautifully sponsored trees line the pathway and feature several local businesses that support Give Kids the World. One day, I would love to make enough to sponsor one of these trees with this channel, but we're still a long way away, so maybe someday. If you are getting a little hungry while you're at this event, there are several spots throughout the park where you can stop and grab a bite to eat, like pretzels and churros for purchase at the North Pole, several quick service options like Megabytes, 
And you can even make your own s'mores by picking up a s'more kit and roasting them over the fire. And I couldn't help but try their sampling of desserts and a hot cocoa while I was there. This sample features what I believe to be a lemon tart, a raspberry cheesecake, tiramisu, as well as a delicious chocolate tart, which was my favorite out of the four. And while you're enjoying your desserts and hot cocoa, make sure to stop by and enjoy the numerous live entertainment while you're there. There are two different entertainers, the dueling pianos, as well as DJ Jack Frost, who can be found near the wave pool stage. Also nearby is Santa's workshop, where you and the kids can play in and around these oversized toys and at this fun little play area. If your kids are looking for a little more fun and games, there's also several carnival games that are located just a short walk away, where you can try your hand at a few games to win a prize. And before you leave for the evening, don't forget to stop into the shop where you can pick up event merchandise like t-shirts, these beautiful ornaments, cups, and much more. And the wonderful thing about the purchase of every ticket as well as select merchandise, food, and beverage items that are bought throughout the night will help give Kids the World Village fulfill its mission to provide critically ill children and their families with magical week-long wish vacations at no cost, which is one of the biggest reasons why this event is one of my favorites to attend and support every year. So if you are looking for even more fun holiday events to check out, I've got a whole playlist for you that's filled with holiday events at local theme parks and beautiful light displays that you can visit throughout Central Florida and beyond. Until next time, everyone, I hope you have an amazing holiday season and go out and enjoy some Florida sunshine. <laughs>